What's going on guys, Ted Teske here with the Recording Connection Audio Institute. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the de on one of your vocal tracks. I pulled up one of my vocal tracks from one of my sessions to use as an example. The first thing you're going to want to do to pull up the de is come over here to inserts, go to your dynamic section and you'll see a DYN3 de -er. So click on that and once this pops up, what we have is a frequency knob here as well as our range. We're going to use this frequency knob. We're going to swipe back and forth to find, to try to give us a correct indication of where our sibilance and our S sounds are sitting as far as what frequency range. Once we find that frequency range, we can use the range here to go ahead and start taking some of that out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select high frequency only because what we're trying to do is find where these sibilant sounds, these S sounds are sitting. Typically you're going to use the de -er on vocal tracks that are using too much of an S sound and those S sounds tend to sit in a higher frequency range that can get really annoying to a listener sometimes. So what we're trying to do with this is eliminate those high frequencies and make the S sounds a little bit smoother so they're not so piercing to the ear. So what you're going to want to do is select high frequency and put this in listen mode. We're putting this in listen mode so that we can only hear the high frequency range that the sibilants are sitting in. So what I'm going to do is play this vocal track for you that I have looped with the de -er on bypass. So you're not going to hear the de -er yet. And then what I'm going to do is apply the de -er and show you how I use it so you can hear the difference. So here's the vocal track that I'm working with out of one of my sessions. I'll go ahead and play it for you right now. Cause I see darker days And I dream of such a place And right there when he said such a place You could hear that S sound coming off a little bit too high It was sitting in too high of a frequency range So what I'm going to do now is take this off a of bypass and when I play this again, you're going to hear the vocals. They're going to sound kind of weird. And that's because when you're in listen mode here, it's picking up only the high frequency ranges. So what I'm trying to do is use this frequency right here back and forth to find out where those S's are sitting. So here we go. And as you can see what I'm doing, I'm swiping back and forth with my frequency to see where those S sounds are living at. Where are they at? So I'm trying to kind of hit right on the dot where I think those S's are. And then what I can do is use this range here to take that out. So I feel like I eliminated it for the most part. Again, the de -er is going to help with the S's. You can never fully eliminate them, but you can at least try to make it sound smoother. So what I'll do is play this again with it off of listen so you can hear it normally with the de -er on it. And you guys should be able to hear the S sound sound a little bit smoother now. So here we go. Cause I see darker days When I dream of such a place And as you can hear now the S sounds when he said such and place that, that S it wasn't as high the frequencies weren't coming out as much it wasn't piercing to the ear so again this is how you use a de -er on one of your vocal tracks hopefully this helped you understand it and hopefully you can apply it to one of your sessions here in the near future again my name is ted teske i'm an audio engineer with the recording connection audio institute and thanks a lot for tuning in on this short tutorial on how to use the de -er plugin you guys have a great day